we're going to talk about COCHITEL and joint PhD programs. So we saw before that there was a number of COCHITEL candidates here. Is there anyone here who doesn't know what a COCHITEL is? You can put your hand up. Good, good. So at least this will be targeted for more than one person. <laughs> okay, so a COCHITEL and... Okay, I'll go, just go back and say, if you'd like to understand more about our Coach Hotel and PhD program and the strategy and how we are advancing this program, our International Research Training Partnerships Framework, which sits next to our Strategic Research Framework, lays out all of the ways that we are going to further this program and, and why we do it. Okay. So far, we have had more than 300 Cochitel and Joint PhD candidates with more than 100 international partner universities in more than 30 countries. There's also a whole lot more statistics there about the program, so these slides are going to be available to you later if you'd like to go and have a look at them. Uh, there's just a little bit about where we have our international partners in the world. As you can see, they're quite broad variety of where we have our partners. Um, we have a lot of partners in China and also in Europe, but we're getting bigger in other parts of the world, particularly South and North America. Okay, so why do we do it and how do we do it? Um, our strategy is to develop and maintain and partner with leading international research training programs in other institutions. Um, and this is to ensure that our candidates have outstanding experiences. We want to attract, develop and retain international HDR candidates of very high quality through this program. Uh, we want to secure international research training partnerships with world leading research institutions. And we want to expand the quality and the number of funding sources that are available to our candidates through this program. Okay, this is a little bit of a duplicate here because I understand this was two presentations. So we've already discussed about the role of the Higher Degree Research Office um, and what we do. We look after all of the operations and the administration of the program um, and then the Office of the Dean that you heard from Nick earlier, um, looking after the academic side of the program. Okay, so what is a coach tell and what is a joint PhD? So a COCHITEL or a joint PhD program is essentially where you do a PhD program at the same time in two different institutions. One of them is Macquarie and one will be an international institution. Okay. So a COCHITEL, co they're slightly different, a COCHITEL and a joint PhD. A COCHITEL, you have joint enrolment at Macquarie and another institution. These are open to all institutions, but we like to partner with our priority partners. Um, we don't really need any higher level institutional agreement to do it other than just for one particular candidate. When you are enrolled in, under the COCHITEL arrangement, you will need to meet the academic requirements of both universities at the same time. So if Macquarie requires you to do an annual progress report each year, which they do, and your partner institution requires you to do two annual progress reports each year, then you must do them both because you are enrolled in both of those programs. At the end of the program, there will be one thesis which is submitted for two examinations, one at each institution. They will be examined separately. At the end, if you complete both and you pass successfully both, you will receive two certificates and both certificates will mention that the degrees were awarded under a COCHITEL arrangement and you will be able to attend two graduation ceremonies. Okay, so that is the COCHITEL arrangement. <laughs> under a joint PhD arrangement, it's very, very similar, except that it is only one program. So generally, we need more approvals at the institutional level because you will not be enrolled just in the Macquarie PhD. You will be enrolled under a joint PhD program. And normally, if you have started your degree at Macquarie already, Macquarie will be the lead institution. And so you will meet the requirements at the lead institution. At the end, you will have a single examination 
But sometimes that examination will be a little bit different to what we would normally do at Macquarie because you need to meet the expectations of your partner institution. So if your partner institution asks you to do an oral defence of your thesis, then you must do that, even though we don't have to do it at Macquarie. Okay. At the end, you will get one certificate with two logos on it, or if you're in the Idea Lab program, you might get five, <laughs> um, and one graduation ceremony from your lead institution. Okay, so any questions about that? Nice and clear. Good. All right, why do we do it institution-wise and for the candidates? So it deepens and strengthens our research collaborations and networks at an institutional level, but it gives the candidate, you, exposure to the research environment, not just at one institution, but two institutions. So you will get training experiences and access the latest research equipment, technology, at both institutions, which is not something you can do if you're just enrolled in one place. Um, you will get international networking opportunities, access to new funding schemes that are not available for candidates simply enrolled in, a, in an Australian university. Um, and that means you get to experience a different culture, you get to experience a different environment and develop different soft skills to what you would have um, if you just enrolled here. Um, historically, most of our Coach Hotel candidates have been in the Faculty of Science and Engineering. Um, and the Faculty of Arts and also Human Sciences. But we have had now, over the course of the program since its in introduction since 1997, quite an increase in other areas. So the Faculty of Human Sciences is definitely catching up when we have a lot of candidates in Human Sciences enrolled in Coach Hotel programs. One of the reasons is because of Idealab. Idealab is the International Doctorate for Experimental and Applied Languages and the Brain. And this is um, a program that is situated in our Cognitive Science Department. Have we got any Idea Lab candidates here? No? No. So, the, uh, one? <laughs> and where's your home institution? Uh, Groningen in the Netherlands. Okay, good. So, we have had more than 30 candidates come through the Idea Lab program, and they're getting a degree awarded by five universities. So, we have another program as well, the Macquarie, Fudan and Hamburg Trilateral Agreement. This is where we have the opportunity to enrol a candidate in Macquarie University, Hamburg University in Germany and Fudan University in China. So that is a, is a PhD awarded by three institutions. There's a little bit more information there about our Coach Hotel program. If you haven't even considered a Coach Hotel yet and you are a Macquarie University student solely enrolled in the Macquarie PhD, it is not too late. So our supervisors at Macquarie are becoming more and more aware of how the Coach Hotel programs work and how the funding arrangements work. Generally, we will provide an automatic scholarship to someone enrolled in a Coach Hotel program. You don't have to compete through our main scholarship rounds. We will provide up to three years of tuition at Macquarie for international candidates, as well as a stipend automatically while you are at Macquarie campus. So if you are interested in doing a Coach Hotel program, speak to your supervisor and ask them, do you have international collaborators in an institution, in a university where I might go and spend maybe a year of my degree um, doing experiments or doing field work or doing things that you wouldn't have thought of doing at Macquarie uh, because it's not too late. So if you are interested in doing that, speak to your supervisor and send an email to our HDR Coach Hotel email. I'll make sure that when we circulate the slides, all our contact details are there. And yeah, we can, we can try and arrange that for you. Okay, there's just an example there. This is a, a degree that is awarded under a joint PhD agreement. Um, sorry, no it's not. This one is a Coach Hotel. Test so there's one logo, but you will get two certificates, one from us and one from the partner institution. If you are awarded under a joint PhD agreement, it would look something like this, where you would have the logo of each university, but one certificate. Or you might get five. <laughs> That's everything from me today. Good luck for the rest of your studies. Make some good friends today, because you'll need them. Um, <laughs> Any questions? No? All clear?
Great. You're always welcome to come and see us in the HCRO. Okay.